Hello, my dear students. I welcome you all for SVK tutorials. Today, I have taken the topic uh, Cauchy Riemann equation in Cartesian form, which comes in uh, fourth semester. Subject code is uh, 18 mat uh, 41. The subject title is uh, Complex Analysis, Probability, and Statistical Methods. So, this is the module 1 topic I have taken. So, we are going to derive a CR equation. It is also called a CR equation in Cartesian form. So, if you go with the statement, here is the statement. The statement says that uh, the necessary condition for f of z equal to u of x comma y plus i into v of x comma y be analytic, be analytic at any point z equal to x plus i y is that and satisfies CR equation. That is, you should prove that, you are going to prove that ux or del u by del x, del u by del x is equal to del v by del y, del v by del x is equal to minus del u by del y. Or we can also say in another way, it is ux is equal to vy and vx is equal to minus uy. This is what we are going to prove. Now consider the proof. Let f of z, let f of z be analytic, be analytic, let f of z be analytic. By definition of uh, derivative, we can consider, by definition of derivative, we can consider f dash of z as limit delta z tends to limit delta z tends to 0, f of z plus delta z minus f of z divided by, this whole divided by delta z exist, it should exist and unique, exist and unique. So, in the Cartesian form, we can express uh, f of z as in Cartesian form, in Cartesian form, f of z can be expressed as f of z is equal to u of x comma y plus i into v of x comma y. In Cartesian form, f of z is expressed in terms of u plus i v, that is u of x comma y plus i into v of x comma y, where u and v are functions of x and y. So, and uh, let as there is an increment in z, as there is an increment in z here, z plus delta z. So, and let delta z Delta z be an increment, be an increment, be an increment in z. Therefore, therefore, change, change x to x plus delta x, x to x plus delta x, and y to y plus delta y, y to y plus delta y. So, therefore, f dash of z, the definition of f dash of z becomes f dash of z is equal to limit as delta z tends to 0 u of x plus delta x comma as we have defined that f of z is what u of x comma y plus i into v of x comma y as we have f of here we have f of z plus delta z. So, we are going to change x in place of x as delta x and in place of y as delta y. x plus delta x comma y plus delta y plus i into v of x plus delta x comma y plus delta y. y plus delta y. This is what f of z plus delta z minus f of z is there, minus of, put a bracket, u of x comma y plus i into v of x comma y. 
this is just f of z this whole divided by this whole divided by delta z this whole divided by delta z now collect the term real part and imaginary part here real part is u here the real part is u of x comma y and imaginary part is v of x plus delta x uh, comma y plus delta y and v of x comma y collect this so now we can rewrite f dash of z as what now we can rewrite f dash of z as f dash of z is equal to limit as delta z tends to zero u of x plus delta x comma y plus delta y minus u of x comma y this all divided by delta this all divided by delta z i am splitting with uh, delta z plus i times of limit as delta z tends to zero e as we are collecting the uh, imaginary part v of x plus delta x comma y plus delta y y plus delta y minus v of x comma y this all divided by delta z this all divided by delta z so as delta z is denoted as delta z is equal to delta x plus i delta y delta z is what delta x plus i delta y so we will discuss uh, two cases so consider case 1 so in case 1 we are going to consider the value of delta y as 0 delta y equal to 0 as delta y is 0 uh, here there is a limit as delta z tends to 0 as delta z tends to 0 here i have defined what is delta z delta z is nothing but delta x plus i delta y in that delta y is equal to 0 you are left out with delta x so that implies what delta x tends to 0 delta x tends to 0 i think you came to know i am putting the value delta y equal to 0 so as delta z tends to 0 it becomes delta x tends to 0 so i will name this as uh, this above equation as 1 uh, r star if you define this as equation star now i am going to substitute in equation star so therefore equation star becomes what therefore equation star therefore equation star becomes f dash of z f dash of z is equal to limit as delta x tends to 0 limit as delta x tends to 0 u of x plus delta x comma y plus 0 as we are giving delta y equal to 0 y plus 0 is y minus u of x comma y so as i told you that uh, as uh, delta z is equal to delta x plus i delta y i am giving the value delta y equal to 0 so when i give delta y equal to 0 you are left out with what here so you are going to left out with delta x so delta z becomes here delta x similarly plus the imaginary part i into limit as delta x tends to 0 v of x plus delta x comma y minus v of x comma y all divided by delta x so as we observe that there is an increment for only the term called x here as there are two variables x and y but there is an increment for x so it is nothing but uh, the derivative called partial derivative so we denote that value by as there is an increment for x for u with uh, so del u by del x it is denoted by del u by del x plus i into del v by del x i will name this as equation 1 well, i am going to name that as equation 1 similarly i am going to discuss case 2 so in case 2 i am going to consider let delta x equal to 0 let delta x equal to 0 that implies as delta z tends to 0 again as uh, you know that delta z is defined as delta x plus i delta y so therefore you are left out with i delta y tends to 
we can write that as delta y tends to 0. So, yeah, therefore, equation star becomes what? Therefore, equation star becomes f dash of z is equal to limit as delta instead of delta z, it will be delta y tends to 0. We are giving the value for delta x as 0. U of x plus 0 will be x, comma y plus delta y, y plus delta y minus u of x, comma y. Whole divided by, whole divided by, as I am giving the value for delta x as 0, as defined at delta z is delta x plus i delta y, you are left out with i delta y in the denominator minus or plus i into limit as delta y tends to 0 u p of x comma y plus delta y minus v of x comma y this whole divided by i delta y here i i get cancelled the value i i get cancelled here you are in the first term you are left out with you are going to left out with 1 by i you are left out with 1 by i so 1 by i is nothing but minus i 1 over i is nothing but minus i and in this uh, limit there is an increment for y so as u as an having an increment with uh, y so therefore it is defined by del u by del y plus del v by del y del v by del y so or we can rewrite this as del v by del y minus i into del u by or plus of minus del u by del y now i am going to name this as equation 2 i am going to name this as equation 2 now equating equation 1 and uh, now equating equation 1 and equation 2 the right hand side of equation 1 and equation 2 we are going to get an equation as uh, the left hand side is f dash of z so just equate the rhs of equation 1 and 2 equating 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 right hand side of equation 1 and 2 we have we have we have del u by del x plus i into del del v by del x which is equal to del v by del y minus i into I think I have written plus of i into minus del u by del y. Now equating real part and imaginary part. So this is what real parts. These two are real parts and these two are imaginary parts. Equating these two we can get therefore I can define that del u by del x is equal to del v by del y and similarly del v by del x del v by del x is equal to minus del u by del y. This is what CR equation in Cartesian form. So therefore this is what called as CR equation. CR equation in Cartesian form. CR equation in Cartesian in Cartesian form. So this is the way if they ask the question uh, to prove that or derive a CR equation in Cartesian form. You can derive easily by studying this topic. So I think you all, I think you all understood what I taught you now. Please watch my YouTube channel for more videos. Subscribe my YouTube channel. Thank you all.